So one of my most popular videos on YouTube is my custom desk hack from Ikea. And one of the most common questions is where did I get my keyboard slide out tray? I haven't seen it on Ikea for a while. I've sent people the link and the link always seems to be dead. So today's video, I'm gonna show you a workaround that you can create for yourself and make your own. So this hack's simple to do. I've got some runners from Amazon. Just need to pick up a shelf from Ikea, which cost about nine pound. The runners was about 16, 17 pound. So altogether, less than 30 pounds, so about $40. So you can draw some inspiration from what I'm building today and create your own. What's going on YouTube fans? Casey, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Before we dive into the video, shout out my two new subscribers. Shout out Solar Entune Official and Fear. Thank you both for hitting that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. Best comment for this week coming from Ryo. Appreciate your feedback, bro. Always happy to help. And I hope you've managed to set up your website. For those who haven't checked out that video, go and check it out if you're looking for a producer website or even just a or even an artist website. You can tailor it to make it your own place, your own special hub. So yeah, if you haven't checked that video out, go do that. All right, we've got all that out of the way. Let's dive into this video. Got the shelf from IKEA. And shelf, let's have a quick look. It's got some ridges thing on it, but I don't I don't really like how that looks. I thought it was gonna be plain all the way around. So I'm gonna have the plain part at the front. So that's gonna go at the back. So you won't see that ridge bit. It looks old fashioned for me. So I want it to all tie in so it's got the nice straight finish. So that ripple things gonna go out the back. A couple of things you need to think about when you're creating this desk is measurements. Distance between the bottom of your shelf and your knees. Plus, you gotta think about whether or not your, your keyboard can actually slide underneath. Because if you've got knobs and sliders on there and you try to push it back in and it can't, then you're gonna be in trouble. So I'll just quickly show you the current keyboard tray that I'm using. So currently this is the keyboard sitting on the old tray. I'll take the keyboard off and so you can see the tray that I was working with. That's it, just a standard keyboard tray. Weren't the best, weren't the strongest, but it's done the job. I've got some runners as well. I need to make sure that these runners fit the shelf. So these runners are a 55 to 90 mil drop. So I've got a feeling I'm gonna to need to cut some buttons so I can increase the depth of the drop, increase the drop so that the keyboard can slide underneath. But I'm gonna measure that first, just to make sure. Slide that drawer's done. So I'll just show you how it all works. So this time it slides right the way out, whereas the other one, it only came out about halfway, then I'd have to pull the keyboard forward, which made it more flimsy. But now, nice and sturdy. When I hit the pads, there's no bounce, so it should make for better playing. Just want to show you as well, it's not a mistake, but it's, the shelf is slightly smaller because I thought the, the fixings would have been going through the side of the board instead of underneath. So I'll just show you. So you can see the runner is just a little bit longer. But that doesn't matter. If you want to get a longer shelf, a wider shelf, you can do that. But you won't know because the keyboard is on top, sitting nicely on there. So. It's not a big deal really. I had to put some buttons in as well, just so I can get it 
the keyboard to slide under with no problems. And also while I'm sitting down playing the keys, I can pull it out as far as I want. Nice and sturdy. Nice little upgrade for the studio. Turned out nice, happy with it. The only thing is the, the shelf, like I mentioned before, that bothers you. Just make sure that the shelf fits the runners because it fixes from underneath the shelf and not the sides like I thought it did. So that's the only thing. I think if that bothers me after a while, then I'm just going to swap it out and make it wide enough. So overall happy with the project. If you haven't seen my video on how I created this desk, check that video out or feel free to check out some of the playlists that I've created. If you like this video at all, hit the like button. Any comments, drop them below, I'll read them. Any questions, I'll read them, get back to you if I can. If you want to connect with me on Insta, feel free. Always happy to connect. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.